Hey everybody, it is JPT, back with Starbound. Now I took a little bit of a summer vacation slash paternity leave after we had our son, and then kind of waited for the Starbound crew to get a new update out, and we are back with Pleased Giraffe. Update 1, which is slightly promising. Tons of stuff that they put in the Unstable update, which I actually didn't have time for. Normally I would play through the Unstable and go from there and have ourselves some fun. But uh, this is all fresh. This is all fresh for me, and hopefully it is fresh for you. We are going to start our new adventure. But uh, one of the big, big things is that there is a colony system. And I've got some really fun ideas for that. So hope you stick with me as we start a brand new character. So we have Prince Calloway and we have Emperor Ca Holloway. I'm going to create a new character. I think I want to go with a human. A boy. Let's randomize some names here. Okay, these names are better than the last time around. They kind of got rid of the really crazy names, but I've got one. Let's see if I can spell this right. Is that how you spell Pharaoh? Pharaoh Faraway. <laughs> to keep the O way going. Wait. Undie color? Like underwear? Oh, that's crazy. Look at these personalities. <laughs> Looks like he's doing a doing a dance. Oh, he's leaning real forward there. Wait, so what's the difference between that and that? Oh, hands to the side. I got it. Hmm. How do we want this? I think we want this guy to kind of... I'm, I'm powerful. You know, I could, I could spend tons of time doing this stuff, but we know after a while it doesn't really matter. Look at that slight, subtle difference there. Oh, tank top. <laughs> the tank top. We might just go with the tank top. This is a young guy. He's a pharaoh. I like his hair. I think we'll go with that. We only lose pixels upon death. I'm oh. lose pixels and drop resources. See, I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to keep things easy. So we'll do that. Bam. Earth has been ripped apart. I have been in search of a new home for some time. My ship has been damaged, and I am in orbit of an unknown planet. To keep moving, I'll need to repair the ship's thrusters and patch up the hull. We've done this before. We know what this is all about. Oh, yeah. Error, error. Well, let's reboot that AI. Boot initialize. New super user acquired. Hello, thanks for that. I am Sale. I'll be helping you out. I have restored the backup power for you. The thrusters and FTL drive are still offline, which is start by enabling your matter manipulator. Heck yeah. This thing is what helps us get all the goods. Yeah. Excavation mode. It worked. The matter manipulator enables you to pick up, move, and collect objects and materials. What about this? I can turn on the ship's short-range teleport. It'll take you down to the planet below. Be careful down there. Heck yeah. First thing I should do is check the ship's locker. At the very least, I'll need a flashlight, but there should be some other supplies in there too. Right on. No missions yet. I like this. I like that they put a little bit of a background on it. Maybe that's always been there. And I just never noticed. Oh, I got a kitty cat. Meow. Kind of looks like mine. Except for that one has more white. Yeah, I got a flashlight. We're done. We completed the game game is done. Flashlight, a weapon, and a few torches for good measure. Time to head down to the planet. It's time to make a crafting table. I should beam down to the planet, use my matter manipulator to fell trees for wood, then press C to open my crafting menu and see what I'll need. Will do. Let's see. So let's pull all these in. So as you saw, when I, I shift-clicked it on those uh, torches, notice how they didn't come into this big thing here. We actually have a brand new thing for objects and it does that little animation to show that we have something uh, new in there which is really cool actually it always takes me a minute to figure out where I put my torches do I usually put them there I think I do all right one-handed sword two-handed broadsword heck to the yeah 12 DPS 8 damage per swing is 5 10 on that one so we'll keep that one 
As a matter of fact, we'll just switch those two out. But yeah, so now we have a brand new thing for objects. And there should they said there was a sort button, which is this one here. So you'll see me using that a lot more. Let's just... There we go. So my underwear are black. Good deal. So you can just run around naked? I'm okay with that. Well, semi-naked, I guess. <laughs> semi-naked. So we just beam down here, or we can come over here and click on it and beam down to the orbited world. Can't see any specs on this planet. So it's all going to be kind of news to us. Ooh, got some coal. So let's grab some coal. This will come in handy. Learn to craft some gunpowder. Heck yeah. So one of the things that they said about this update is that you can use your old characters, but in terms of like weaponry, it might change the stats in the name and stuff. Wait, what? To start farming, I'll need a way to till the soil. I should craft a hoe using some wood and copper bars. Oh, because I picked up a seed. I was like, why did it do that? I know they also improved the look of these backgrounds, which looks pretty good so far. Ooh, there's a thing right here to the left. I don't want to stop chopping this tree down. Oh, it's like a cemetery. Sweet. Let's go check out this cemetery. There we go. Grab that dirt. What's this? Is that a snail? These are snails. Oh, cool. There's like bones and stuff down here too. Uh, micro dungeons have also been added. Um, all biomes, they say, have several types of unique critters. They say plus 60. Oh, grave robbering. Let's do it. <laughs> Get that gold. Actually, I'll take the chest, too. You can kind of use the matter manipulator. Blah, blah, blah. Matter manipulator as like a semi flashlight. Which is rather nice. I don't think I want any of this stuff. We just definitely want these trees, though. This is cool. Never saw a cemetery before. As usual, if you see something that I missed or know something about the game that you want to share, feel free to throw that down in the comments below. So excited to get back into this with Mr. Pharaoh Faraway. Go ahead and do the crafting table. So what do we need for that? 35 wood planks. Uh, so if I do my mathematics right, seven should do it. Wood block, or log block. Cabin roofing, there's all sorts of new stuff in here, I'm sure. Boom, quest complete. Great, I can use this crafting table to create lots of items that I can't make with my bare hands. That's true. Plant fibers can be used to obtain bandages in case I get hurt. I should chop down some vines to obtain plant fibers and turn them into a bandage by hand. Better safe than sorry. I agree. That's what these are here. Should be able to make it out of here. Let's go ahead and put some torches down. I bet that's confusing for our European friends. Because they call a flashlight a torch. And they give you a flashlight and they also give you torches. So, just a thought. Just a thought. But yeah, just slowly but surely getting back into recording games. This is kind of the first one that I'm ah jumping into. I can make it back down there. Let's keep let's keep exploring a little, just a little bit. Okay, because those are probably foes. The bunny rabbit. Yeah, these are foes. Oh, I destroyed the bunny rabbit. Okay, so well, he's gone. Although there is iron here. Speaking of iron, uh, one of the things they said that they worked on is there's like in the outpost, there's a person that will sell you metals now, which is kind of awesome. Oops. There we go. So see how it's showing us. I guess these count as objects, these saplings. Blocks and all sorts of stuff here. Um, they say they won't automatically put stuff in your inventory, uh, or your top bar when you grab it. So just keep that in mind. That's a, another new change as well. 
Grab that stuff. And grab some more coal. Because you just never know. I'm all about the bandages. Because I always get myself in trouble. I keep thinking I can double jump, and that is not the case. <laughs> that is definitely not the case. But you know what we can do? Actually, let me grab these torches. Grab this one too. Ah, <laughs> see, there's that double jump again that I don't have. That's gonna take. Starting new games is always interesting because it's just like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> Stop trying to do that. Bandage, there we go. How many of these can we craft? 17. I'll take it. That wasn't too bad. I can make all sorts of things from plant fibers, from ropes to fabric. Stay healthy, and to add my combat effectiveness, I'll need to cook some food. I should obtain some raw steak by killing a monster with a hunting bow or hunting spear and cook it on a campfire to produce cooked steak. So, a hunting bow, those plant fibers, and wood planks. How many wood planks? 30. Uh, we don't need 40. Um, let's make 20, though. There we go. Go ahead and craft that campfire. Let's get some more torches. 13 works for me. Gives me 58 because it's times 4. It's raining. This would be a perfect planet for farming. Because now you actually... Ooh. To start a farm, you actually have to keep it watered. Oh, this is a perfect shelter. It's got a tree growing out of the top. I like this. Sleeping bag. Heck yeah. This is cool. I know they talked about some of the enemies. Uh, oh, cool. Oh, wait, that's normal. <laughs> um, enemies might be a little bit tougher. They're still working on getting those to kind of even out. Oh, look at this little bridge. I know that the, the biome that I'm starting in isn't necessarily going to be the same biome that you're going to be starting in. So keep that in mind. It's another change that they made to the game. Oh, and see how it kind of got sluggish there? I talked about that as well. They're still trying to optimize all that stuff. What's this water thing? Do I have to stay watered now? And actually eat food? It's interesting. Oh, let's get this. I'm hoping they make these cemeteries worth the hassle. There we go. Rice. I'll take it. Anything in here that we need? It's kind of dark. Got dark real fast. <sighs> we know how these go. What? Some of them give you pixels now? Well, we're going to open all of them. Because I'm a pixel fiend. I like also the fact that they give off natural light. It's pretty helpful. There we go. See? Or they catch you on fire. Actually, can we go out into the... Ah! <laughs> I was trying to get up to the surface to make it stop. Whoa. Still trying to get used to the controls again. This tree's leaning. Do you see that? That's pretty crazy. May or may not see it. It's pretty dark. Again, I apologize. That's what the torches are for. Is this friend or foe? It is foe show. Ouch. It's like a little alligator. Oh, cool. He gave me a bandage. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I like the fact that it doesn't switch things into your inventory automatically. I'm going to be honest about that. See, I kind of leave slots open for that exact case. Yeah, just getting started. Oh, look at that. I love the little animals. I love all the little animals. Why did I say that like Hannibal Lecter when I kind of intended to sound more like Bob Ross? <laughs> Imagine if Bob Ross was like Hannibal Lecter. It'd be crazy. Let's go ahead and sleep. Get her stats back up. Sleeping in a tent or any kind of bed automatically builds your uh, 
your health back up. So keep that in mind. Imagine if we're running into this many little buildings that we'll probably run into some significant building. At least I hope so. But this is only the starter planet, so maybe they maybe they're not gonna throw us that curveball just yet. But I always want to walk around the surface, see if I can find anything of uh, major significance, then I go underground. Oh, here's another little bridge with some lanterns. I like the addition. Oh, did he eat? He ate the bunny. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I read that they might interact with other creatures. Interesting. Didn't think they would eat them, though. It's pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. There's another one of these. Do we even dare? Ah! <laughs> They're evil. It sucked me back in by giving me pixels, and then it was like, nope, we're just gonna catch you on fire. Those are so hit or miss. Oh, cool. Hey, fellow traveler. If you need any tips on getting by, feel free to ask me. The codex. Let me check my controls real quick. Because um, you can take screenshots. Yeah, toggle full screen. Hide the HUD is Alt and Z. Remember that. Is there actual a screenshot? I don't think there is. I think I have to take those myself. Yeah. Some games have it built in, some don't. So I get rid of that. And then take my screenshot. Just to be safe. I take so many screenshots that I actually don't end up using. It's kind of funny. Ooh, what's that? I see you over there. Ooh, bombs. Give me that. What's this? Well, I'm taking it. Traveler's meter. Never heard of that before. Traveler's meter. What, are the, what could that even deal with? Come on. I got this. Don't die. <laughs> Don't die in the first episode. I would not show people that you've played this. I think I looked. I've played almost 150 hours of the game, which I know is probably minimal. Is there a is there a a non-hostile creature on this planet? Doesn't seem like it, does it? Give me all the torches. I'm fine with that. Start me off. I'm gonna take your tent. Just in case I need it. Kind of lost my trail of thought. Um, but yeah, just early exploring. That's what I like about the game. Oh, uh, the amount of hours I played. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's minimal. <laughs> I'm sure there are many other people out there that have played this a lot more than I have. I would be kind of interested to go and look and see how many of those are recorded hours of Starbound. That would be a big, a big thing I th would imagine, at least for me. Gosh dang it. Well, I just got myself in a fun situation by putting that block there. Wait. Die. All right. Wait. Module component. Learn to craft a manipulator module. Well, I learned about those too. Something we'll have to tinker with. Things that you can do to change up your matter manipulator, I believe. Gosh dang it. Lame, whoa. <laughs> He's a street fighter. He's a street fighter. Haruken. I want to get over here. Wasn't there something over here I wanted? Yeah, maybe not. Too busy talking and trying to do something at the same time. Huh. A uh, lack like of the exploration part of this game. Especially when they add new stuff. It's just nuts. So yeah, they, they say, uh, speaking of the NPCs, they say they'll interact with each other. 
which is pretty awesome. And they'll also switch from their melee to their ranged weapons automatically, which is pretty awesome. I don't think I'm going to make that jump on my own. Actually, let's run back over here. Take my screenshot. Again. I like it as screenshots. It's important so you guys get some good thumbnails. Sometimes I forget, and then I have to kind of like reverse engineer something. That's always fun as a content creator. Like, what was I doing in that episode that I recorded like a week ago? Because sometimes I do record things way in advance, and I'm probably actually going to be doing that a lot more. Especially now that we have a child. Me just recording things in bulk. Because my wife is back to work. So I kind of have my home office all to myself again. So just be patient with me as I try to get back in the old swing of things. Go for a little bit longer. Call it quits here. Again, just... Oh, jeez. Just some humble beginnings. Oh, that guy doesn't want to eat me. And he looks the scariest. What is this? Oh, it's a sleeping bag. Doesn't that not look like a creature? <gasps> what is this? Iron lantern and booze. <laughs> and booze. I'll take that sleeping bag. That's cool looking. Look like a creature. I was like, is this one going to be hostile too? I like these little buildings though. Kind of gives you a nice little starter shelter if you're looking for one. What is our quest? What are we supposed to be doing? Not inspecting. Time for a hoedown. No place like home. Mm, repair the ship's thrusters. And the hunting bow. Can we even do the hunting bow? We can. Boom. Let's get in that inventory. Bust this thing out. Let's try to get this. I'm no good at shooting things. Unless it's out of a gun. Hi -ya. Give me meat. Yes. He gave me meat, meat, meat. Campfire. Boom. Cook it to meat. Mmm. Meat. Yeah. Delicious. I'm sure I can cook some even tastier dishes once I find some better ingredients. Maybe I should craft a hoe and find some seeds I can plant. New quest. To make more advanced items, I'll need to craft a stone furnace using the crafting table. With the stone furnace, I'll be able to smelt raw ores into refined metal bars. Coo, coo, coo. Um, where is that crafting table? Right here. Go ahead and put that down. Let's see. Stone furnace. Yeah! Awesome! Time to play with fire! This should work for the most basic metals like copper and iron, which I should be able to use to build a more advanced furnace later. Heck yeah, I'm going to need better equipment if I'm going to survive down here. I should start making use of a furnace and smelting some iron ore and obtain an iron bar. The deeper underground I go, the more likely I am to find ore. Do I already have that? That's copper. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, I do have iron. I picked it up. Because I'm awesome. Stone furnace. Where can I put this thing down at? There we go. Um, iron bar. Nice! I'll have a whole bunch of these iron bars to build better gear, but before I can do that, I'm going to need something to forge them on. To make use of stronger, more valuable ores, I need to obtain an iron anvil. With an anvil, I can prepare myself for the dangers ahead. I can make one with a crafting table. Let's go ahead and make these copper bars while I'm at it. Let's see. Iron anvil. Okay, so we're halfway there. Grab this, and a grab a dat. So what kind of sucks about that is that if you have that, let's say you have that furnace in seven and you put it down, does it go back to seven? Sounds like it probably doesn't. It's kind of lame. Here we go. Ooh, 
A weapons chest. The Grax's Poly Slicer. Heck yeah. I got two one handed weapons now. Because I'm awesome. Here's another one of those cemeteries. All creepy like. Let's go creeping. Ah. Collect those chests though. It'll be handy for something. That's just... Sometimes I get confused by that. They're the rocks. They're just rocks. Oh, see, I told you we'd come up on something. There we go. What's this? Why can't I jump that high? That sucks. Bandages. Alright. Let's tread lightly. Just in case... Something bad wants to come after us. Okay. Oh, cool. The light show. Oh yeah. <gasps> Who are you? Behave, silly thing. <laughs> awesome. No. I'm gonna steal your things. Is that gonna upset you? Nope. Good deal. You got a bed. You got a pretty good, nice little house here. Holding control to move things around view wise. Tap it. Move it back. Yeah, they, it's funny. They're just following me around. I wonder how you how do you keep these watered? See, see, it looks like it's dry because it sucks up the water as it goes. We'll be out of your way. You just stay there. You're just gonna follow me now. You're going to turn around at some point. Now, did you get stuck there or did you stop? Can you get out of there? Yeah, see, so you're going to follow me. Well, didn't think we were going to get ourselves a companion. <laughs> I'll take it. You can keep up. Actually, why am I using that? Oh. It's like glow stick party. <laughs> I didn't see how big this planet was. It might actually take me a little bit longer to get around here. I think we're leaving our companion there. We're probably going to die. I'm not going to lie. We're probably not going to make it. Nope. Nope. I'm a friend. I'm a friendly. Leave me alone. Alright. Oh wait, now we're back around. Yay! So let's go back up to the ship. New kind of teleport thing there if you haven't seen it yet. Let's check on our ship. See what we need exactly. I can repair the thrusters with the ship's 20 core fragments from the planet below. So we're going to have to really dig down into that planet. So I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to do just a little bit of off-camera work, get things set up here, and uh, come back in the next episode. Glad I'm back. Glad you're back. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, this is JPT. Go play your games, and I'll be seeing you.